Welcome to Eric Auto Center, Ghana's number one automotive channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of engine sensors and how they keep your engine running smoothly. We're talking about those little gizmos that tell your car's computer, the ECU, what's going on. Without these sensors, your engine would be running blind and nobody wants that. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. First up, we got the Mass Airflow Sensor, or MAF for short. It sits in the air intake, right between the air filter and the engine, keeping tabs on how much air is flowing in. Your engine needs just the right amount of air to mix with the fuel for a good, clean burn. Too much air, you run lean. Too little, you run rich. The MAF uses a heated wire or a film to measure the airflow. When the air flows over it, it cools down the wire or film and the sensor measures that cooling effect. The MAF sensor makes sure your engine doesn't trip up. Now let's move on down the line to the exhaust system, where we find the oxygen sensor, or O2 sensor. Its job? To sniff out how much oxygen is left in those exhaust fumes, it tells the ECU how well your engine is burning fuel. The O2 sensor sends this information to the ECU, which then fine-tunes the fuel injection to get that perfect air-fuel mixture. This not only makes your engine run smoother, but also helps keep those emissions down. Ever wonder how your car knows when you step on the gas? Well, it's all thanks to the throttle position sensor, or TPS. This little guy is connected to the throttle body, which is like the gatekeeper for air entering your engine. When you step on the gas pedal, you're actually opening that throttle plate, letting in more air. The TPS measures exactly how much you're opening it and translates that into a signal the ECU understands. The ECU then knows how much fuel to send to the injectors, making sure your engine responds smoothly and efficiently. Now let's talk about the coolant temperature sensor, or CTS. This little guy plays a vital role in keeping your engine from turning into a molten mess. It sits right in the coolant flow, constantly measuring the temperature of the engine's lifeblood. When you start your car cold, the CTS tells the ECU to richen the fuel mixture. As the engine warms up, the CTS signals the ECU to lean out the fuel mixture for optimal performance and fuel economy. The CTS also helps control the cooling fan. If it senses the coolant getting too hot, it tells the fan to kick in and cool things down. Ever feel the pressure building when you put your foot down? Well, your car feels it too, thanks to the manifold absolute pressure sensor, or MAP sensor. This sensor hangs out in the intake manifold, measuring the air pressure inside. When you accelerate hard, you're demanding more power from the engine. The MAP sensor senses this change and tells the ECU. Armed with this information, the ECU can fine-tune the fuel injection and ignition timing, so whether you're cruising down the highway or putting the pedal to the metal, the MAP sensor keeps your engine running right. Now we're getting to the heart of your engine's nervous system with the crankshaft position sensor. This sensor is like the conductor of an orchestra, making sure everything works in perfect harmony. It's mounted near the crankshaft, the rotating shaft that converts the up and down motion of the pistons into rotational force. The sensor uses a magnetic field or a Hall effect sensor to keep track of the crankshaft's position and speed. The ECU needs to know exactly where the crankshaft is at all times to time the fuel injection and ignition spark plugs precisely. Without this information, your engine wouldn't even start, let alone run smoothly. Now let's move on to the camshaft position sensor, another critical player in your engine's timing system. While the crankshaft is down there keeping the beat, the camshaft is up top controlling when the engine's valves open and close. The camshaft position sensor uses a magnetic pickup or a Hall effect sensor to track the position of the camshaft. This information is crucial for the ECU to control the variable valve timing system. By adjusting the timing of the valves, the ECU can optimize engine performance, fuel economy and emissions. Ever hear a nasty pinging or rattling sound coming from your engine, especially under heavy load? That, my friends, is engine knock or detonation. That's where the knock sensor comes in, like a bodyguard for your engine. This little sensor is usually mounted on the engine block, where it can feel the vibrations of the engine. 
When it hears those telltale signs of trouble, it alerts the ECU, which then retards the ignition timing, preventing the knock. So be thankful for that little knock sensor, always listening for trouble and keeping your engine safe. Now let's talk about the intake air temperature sensor or IAT sensor. This little guy might seem simple, but it plays a vital role in making sure your engine gets the right air fuel mixture no matter the weather. The IAT sensor is usually located somewhere in the intake manifold where it can measure the temperature of the air entering the engine. The ECU needs to know the air temperature to adjust the fuel injection accordingly. So whether you're starting your car on a frigid morning or cruising on a hot afternoon, the IAT sensor is there, making sure your engine gets the right breath of air. Let's talk about the exhaust gas recirculation sensor, or EGR sensor. When your engine runs, it produces harmful nitrogen oxide emissions, or NOx. The EGR system takes a small amount of exhaust gas and recirculates it back into the intake manifold, where it mixes with the fresh air. This helps lower combustion temperatures, which in turn reduces the formation of NOx emissions. The EGR sensor monitors the flow of exhaust gas being recirculated, making sure the system is working correctly. It sends this information to the ECU, which adjusts the EGR valve to control the flow of exhaust gas. Last but not least, we have the Vehicle Speed Sensor, or VSS. The VSS is typically located on the transmission, where it can accurately measure the rotational speed of the output shaft. This information is then sent to the ECU, which uses it for a variety of important functions. It helps determine when to shift gears in automatic transmissions, ensuring smooth and timely gear changes. The VSS also plays a role in your car's traction control system, anti-lock brake system, ABS, and even your cruise control. It provides the ECU with the vehicle speed information it needs to make these systems work properly. So there you have it folks, a rundown of the essential engine sensors that keep your car running right. These little guys might be hidden away under the hood, but they play a huge role in engine performance, fuel economy, emissions control and overall drivability. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share and comment. Remember, a well-maintained car is a happy car, so stay updated with Eric Auto Center, Ghana's number one automotive channel, for more car care tips, tricks and advice.